Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Do you have nail polish? Do you like blingy jewelry like this? Well, I'm going to show you how you can make your own using stuff you have around the house and it only takes minutes and it looks so fabulous. Today's video is sponsored by Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Now let's go to the table and make some fabulous jewelry. All right, you can see on my table I have lots of uh, lots of stuff here because you can use lots of stuff in this jewelry. Um, well, I wanted to show you, this is an expensive dichroic bead. It is a fused glass bead made with dichroic glass and clear glass. And hey, check this out. It looks very similar to the El Chipo bead we're going to make today. Isn't that cool? And it's so easy. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You will need nail polish for this technique. And I'm just going to show you how I keep mine. This is just a crate from some plums I bought at Sam's Club a few months ago. But I keep all my nail polish in here because I use it in my craft room as often as I do to paint my nails. Which you can probably tell <laughs> that I don't do a very good job or paint my nails that often. So I like having this ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is take some clear gems. These are from the dollar store. You get about a pound for a buck and they come in different sizes. I've used some round ones here, um, some oblong, let's bring them up, um, some big circles and some small circles and they'll all work, you know, depending on what you want to make them for. They may be a bit heavy to do earrings. I guess you could put them on a, on a, like a stud, a little post and they'd be very cute, but, um, they, they are solid glass. So they are a little heavy, but uh, these are the sizes that I'm working with and that I found at the Dollar Tree yesterday when I went shopping to buy the supplies for this. You're also going to want, um, something to glue these on to after you're done. This is on a ring base and these are inexpensive. Um, you can order these from any art supplier. They're very, very inexpensive. I'd say they're probably about a quarter a piece. Um, they'd be more if they're precious metal, of course, and they're adjustable. Um, if you, I soldered, um, like this, I soldered here. Uh, if you don't want to solder a jump ring on, if you do want to solder, you'll need uh, copper foil tape, jump rings, a soldering iron, and I do have a soldering video. If you don't know how to do that, just uh, go to my channel and you'll see it, the Frugal Crafters channel. Um, but if you don't want to solder, you can simply buy a bale like this. These are about a dollar each at a bead shop and then you could glue it on and you wouldn't have to bother with any, um, with any soldering. And you can see that looks very elegant. I actually put a bird feather in that. Isn't that cute? Um, all right. So the first thing you want to do is select a uh, marble. You want to find one that doesn't have too many blemishes on the back, but even if it does, you're not really going to be able to tell that much. And I would start off with like a clear, or something with like a, like a clear with a little bit of glitter in it, something like that. You also might want to have some papers with small prints. These little ATC booklets have um, very tiny prints and tiny pictures that are great to include. You want a pair of scissors so you can cut those out. Uh, there was one that had a really, really neat uh, piece of work. I'm going to take this because it's all like kind of Valentine words. I think it'd be fun to do a kind of a Valentine's pendant since it is that time of year. And we're also going to use this foil because that's what gives it some of the, this like beautiful kind of celestial sparkle in the background. So let me show you how to make this bead first. It's the easiest. Uh, we have our clear um, base and we're going to coat it with some glittery nail polish. I always give it a good shake. And I'm using dollar store nail polish. I am not using anything expensive at all today. And um, might be stuff you already have or stuff your daughters have or your girlfriends have or um, trust me most women have nail polish if you don't have any just ask around it doesn't use that much so I've just given it kind of a coat of the cl of the uh, clear purple clear polish with purple glitter in it and I'm gonna add in a few dots of silver I think and um, maybe some of this blue glitter I'm going to use a blue foil on it, so I'm going to use any colors that would coordinate with that. I really like this metallic silver because it has a really beautiful sheen. Now another thing you could do if you wanted to, and I did that on this ring, you could swirl it with like a toothpick and get a little bit of a marbleized look in there. You don't have to, it's just an option. You can play with this stuff for quite a bit. Then, since this polish is still wet, I'm going to press some of this foil on there gently. I'm actually going to flip the whole thing over so I can kind of see how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks just like a starry sky. Can you see that? Um, now, I can leave this foil facing up like that. Actually, I'm not sure why I did it upside down. Probably because I had my bead upside down already. 
and I can make some coordinating beads. Maybe I do want to make a pair of earrings, so I think I'll make them right now the same color so that they'll match. So I don't have to try to remember what I did later. I know it's a very difficult process. I don't know if I'll be able to remember this. A little bit of this. Glitter. I have to say, glitter polish, nail polish, I don't like to use on my nails. It's very hard to remove, which makes it perfect for a project like this because you don't want it to come off. You want it to be stuck there good for a long time. So stock up on that glitter polish. Actually, you don't need to stock up. They always have it. Just buy it as you run out of it. That's a better idea. Trying not to stock up on things that may <laughs> that may go bad. Luckily, your foil will not go bad. All right, so I'm just going to set this on the foil and let it dry, and it will take quite a while to dry. Don't worry if it slips around like that. That's not a big deal. So these, this will make a beautiful pendant and two earrings, and you know what? I think a ring would be really lovely with that, so I want to do just one more so I can make a matching ring. All right, now we're going to work on um, doing some of these with words in them, doing a little bit of a collage. So anything with a small print, like origami paper or these little ATC books are perfect for this. And I think I want to do a little collage, make a pendant, um, and I think that I just want something small, so I'm going to look through this little booklet and choose, oh, maybe one of these little hearts. I think that would be nice. And just, you can cut it or tear it, it doesn't matter, it's whatever you prefer. And the um, glass bubble is really going to magnify whatever is in there, so that's kind of fun. Um, you could cut out letters to spell somebody's name. I'm going to use nail polish to adhere everything here, so I'm actually going to start building my collage on this paper using nail polish as my adhesive. I have the word amour there, I'm going to stick that. And then I'm going to add some bits of foil. I'm kind of working on the background. Usually I work on the B, but this time I'm going to work on the background. I'm going to put a couple little bits of the uh, of the foil. I just want to have a rough edge, so I'm just going to tear it and stick it in there. Now this is this stuff takes a lot longer to dry than your regular nail polish, so I want you to keep that in mind when you're building these that you don't um, that you don't rush it. I would really give it overnight to dry, at least a couple hours. It's going to take a lot longer. And I think I have this kind of pretty metallic. You know, I could actually paint some on this paper and it would dry a little bit quicker than it would otherwise. Um, it'll stay very wet once it touches the glass. And I think I would like to finish it up with a little bit of clear because I don't have a good gold glitter, so I'm going to just use this clear and use this as my adhesive. So I'm going to press that right on there. So really, there's not really a wrong way to do it. Now, if you find that you've kind of covered up a word, you've covered up a spot that you want to show, I can squeeze from behind and thin it out. You see, that's going to kind of push everything to the edge. So I can I can make out the word love and the word amour now. And I do have that lovely um, metallic foil in there, which I really like the look of. So the other bead we did was more of a dichro. This is more of just a kind of collage collage artsy style bead. Now another fun thing to do is to adding flat inclusions and for um, this example I've got these feathers. They're pretty inexpensive from a craft store. I think they're like maybe two dollars for a big bag and I'm telling you feathers multiply when you when you leave them alone. <laughs> this one had, this uh, bead has a little bump on it, this little flat back marble. So if you could see that in the light that wouldn't be a very good one to use so I'm going to set that aside. And this one's pretty smooth so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So you do have to kind of um, hunt through it a little bit, hunt through the bag of marbles a little bit to make sure you have the the best ones. But they're so inexpensive that um, that's all right if you end up with a couple that you really can't use for this. All right, so on the marble where it's where the um, adhe adhesive or nail polish is there still wet, I'm going to stick one of these feathers and I'm going to put the um, polka dot end down. And notice I'm not trimming anything yet. There, that's stuck in there really well, if you can see. I will cut this a little bit shorter, but I'm not going to trim closely yet. 
Um, now I could let this dry if I'm a little nervous about um, adding another layer, but for the video I'm just going to go ahead and add another layer. I'm just going to make sure to paint it on in the direction of the um, little feather, feathery feathers? What are those called? Fletchings? I don't know. It's a fletching if it's on a the end of a bow and arrow. Or at the end of an arrow, rather. I don't know what they're called in the case of gluing feathers to jewelry. I don't know if that comes up. There may not be a word for that. <laughs> gluing feathers to jewelry. I don't know what that's called. And I'm just going to stick that on top of that paper, too, because I think it'll make a really cool background. And let's just do a plain one on regular origami paper, because I think that'd be really cute on a card or something. And for this, if you're just doing it on, on um, a scrap of paper, which I know if you're a paper crafter, you have lots of scraps of paper lying around, probably in folders or, or whatnot, or left over from your project. So it's always great to find a way to use these up. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. I took a bunch of these, and I used these um, flat back marbles and just my paper scraps that I had left over. And I actually used glue because I, I wasn't using other nail polish, so glue was just fine. And then, let's pretend this is dry. So then after it was dry, this is not dry, but we're pretending here that this is dry. After it's dry, you go around and you cut them out, no matter what you're using for a glue, no matter, you know, what you did. If it has something like foil glued to the back of it, when you're done, you cut it out like this. But you let it dry first. This is not dry, but I'm just showing you. Um, so that's pretty, isn't it? That'd make a really cute pendant. So what I did was I made a bunch of these and I glued magnets on the back and I'll tell you what, those puppies sold like hotcakes. 50 cents a piece and it took me 10 seconds to make. So it's a great way to use up your scraps. You can make beautiful jewelry. Um, you can make pendants, earrings, necklaces, and what have you. And it's just a lot of fun, easy, something you can do with the kids. And I hope you give it a try. So there you have it. Cheap and easy jewelry made with stuff you have on hand already. Thank you so much for watching. And I want to thank our sponsor one more time, Paper Mart. Check them out online, www.papermart.com, where we make you look even better. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.